Imagine a world where wireless energy is freely broadcast across the globe like radio waves, available to all. A world illuminated by an unlimited stream of electricity harnessed from earth and sky, without wires or power companies. This was the magnificent vision of Nikola Tesla, the eccentric genius who revolutionized electric technology at the turn of the 20th century. Tesla dreamed of fundamentally transforming how power is generated and distributed, but his struggle to achieve this vision reveals the clash between idealistic innovation and entrenched economic interests. Tesla battled the limitations of technology, skepticism of contemporaries, and resistance from profit-driven corporations to realize his utopian ideas of free energy access for humanity. In this video, we'll trace Tesla's ambitious concepts for sending energy through the air, from his first inspiration to daring large-scale trials. While he was never able to fully manifest his most ambitious ideas, Tesla's work paved the way for wireless transmission as we know it. His prescient vision of a global energy system continues to inspire hopes of a future where clean, renewable power is available to all. This is the story of Nikola Tesla's altruistic dream and his endless struggle to illuminate the world with the electric brilliance of his mind. Let's first talk about Tesla's early life and work with electricity. Before exploring his fight for free energy, it's important to understand Nikola Tesla's background. Born in 1856 in Smiljan, Croatia, Tesla was fascinated by electricity from a young age. After studying engineering in Graz and Prague, he worked for the Continental Edison Company. In 1884, he immigrated to New York City and began working directly for Thomas Edison. Tesla made critical contributions to Edison's work on direct current DC, power systems. But a clash between the two inventors' personalities led to Tesla leaving Edison's company. Tesla believed that alternating current AC, which changes direction many times per second, was far superior to direct current for transmitting electricity long distances. In May 1885, Tesla established his own Tesla Arc Light Company to develop AC power systems. And in 1887, he filed patents for an AC induction motor and polyphase distribution system, which would become the fundamental building blocks of the AC power system still used globally today. Tesla partnered with George Westinghouse in the War of the Currents against Edison to commercialize AC power. They demonstrated its ability to efficiently transmit electricity over long distances, proving AC's vast advantages for power distribution. Tesla's groundbreaking work with motors, generators, transformers and transmission lines truly electrified the world, lighting up cities and homes with his AC system. Having sent electricity surging through wires across vast distances, Tesla soon turned his thoughts towards an even more ambitious goal transmitting energy completely without wires at all. Envisioning Wireless Power Transmission After triumphing with AC power in the War of the Currents, Tesla began envisioning an even more radical innovation, the wireless transmission of electricity through the air over long distances. In 1891, while walking in a park, Tesla had a pivotal moment of inspiration. As he watched the setting sun, he began imagining how its rays might be the source of an invisible energy constantly being broadcast wirelessly around the Earth. If this natural wireless energy could be tapped and artificially produced, he theorized that power could be transmitted globally to any point on the planet. This became Tesla's lifelong vision, ubiquitous, limitless, and freely available energy for all. Tesla conducted his first wireless power experiments in his New York City laboratory in the 1890s. He generated high-frequency AC current and studied the electrical potential between two metal plates separated at a distance. His oscillator and resonant transformer circuits were able to light lamps from across the room without wires. This convinced Tesla that he could scale up this concept to transmit far greater amounts of power wirelessly. By using the entire Earth to conduct electricity, he believed he could send wireless power in practically unlimited amounts. In the early 1900s, Tesla began formulating plans for a global system of wireless power transmission. He envisioned using hydroelectric plants at Niagara Falls to power his wireless transmitters. 
from tall towers emitting electromagnetic waves tuned to the planet's resonance, energy would be broadcast across oceans and continents to be utilized anywhere. Tesla's system would distribute electricity freely and evenly around the globe. This universal power source could run all motors, lights, and devices. Tesla even imagined wireless control allowing selective power activation by individual receivers tuned to particular transmission frequencies. His dream was nothing short of a world completely transformed by an unlimited reservoir of electricity accessible to all. But immense challenges awaited in trying to practically achieve this wireless utopia. Pursuing the Wardenclyffe Tower and World Wireless System. To advance from small-scale demonstrations to planet-wide wireless transmission, Tesla required massive funding and facilities. In 1900, he convinced financer J.P. Morgan to back construction of a huge transmission tower on Long Island, intended to be the first link in a global power network. Work began at Wardenclyffe on a 187-foot tower with a 55-ton domed cap. Underground tunnels contained electrical equipment and a shaft descended 120 feet to access the Earth's natural charge. Tesla worked tirelessly on designing oscillators, capacitors, and his magnifying transmitter to broadcast energy at globally resonant frequencies. In his vision, once the first tower was operational, more could be constructed worldwide, seamlessly propagating wireless electricity through the atmosphere and ground. Tesla promoted this system not just for power but also for transmitting information, believing it could one day facilitate global wireless communication. However, skeptics doubted that sufficient power could actually be transmitted wirelessly. Physicists like Lord Kelvin criticized the plan as impractical, even as Tesla proved he could light lamps at a distance in his lab. Financial backers grew impatient at the lack of progress and slow speed of implementing a commercial system. By 1906, Tesla had invested over $600,000 into Wardenclyffe, well over $16 million today. But with costs mounting amid technical hurdles and no clear path to monetizing the wireless system, Morgan and other investors withdrew funding. Unable to cover the facility's expenses alone, Tesla was forced to abandon construction before it could fully be completed. While Wardenclyffe failed to fulfill his ultimate vision, it embodied Tesla's bold engineering spirit. Today, many Oscars that the massive tower could have successfully transmitted power wirelessly had it been completed. Tesla was simply too far ahead of his time, lacking the resources and technology needed to make his global dreams a reality with the available methods. But this disappointment did not deter his vision for the future potential of worldwide wireless power. Now we will talk about Tesla's later progress and challenges. After Wardenclyffe, Tesla continued experimental work and demonstrations aimed at developing his wireless power ideas. In 1907, he filed patents for an aircraft control system using electromagnetic waves to operate devices remotely. This helped pioneer the idea of radio-controlled vehicles. At his New York lab, Tesla studied the boundaries of high-frequency, high-voltage electricity. He created spectacular displays with wireless lighting devices illuminated solely by electrical energy traveling through the air. Visitors remarked on the wireless magic Tesla could conjure with electrical oscillations. In 1917, Tesla described a new system for wireless broadcast of power achieved by manipulating naturally present electromagnetic energy waves. He believed he could harness the entire globe's charge to send massive amounts of electricity wirelessly, stating that distance does not attenuate it to an appreciable degree. However, Tesla's grand vision still outpaced both the technology of the time and willingness of people to fund such elaborate projects. Many doubted his claims that energy could be transmitted long-range to run devices. Physicists criticized his theories as inconsistent with Maxwell's electromagnetic equations. Potential backers shied away from investing in something so speculative. After years of pitching his ideas, Tesla managed to secure some funding in the 1920s from financiers like John Jacob Astor to develop wireless power technology. 
This supported Tesla's lighting experiments, but did not provide enough capital for large-scale wireless transmission trials. Despite his ongoing work, Tesla's fame and notoriety also began diminishing in his later years. In 1934, at the age of 78, Tesla made his last great attempt to resurrect interest in a wireless global power system. He filed a patent application essentially laying out all the aspects of his wireless transmission designs. This final effort encompassed his life's vision for the technological capabilities to distribute limitless energy around the planet. Though the patent was never granted, it represents the culmination of Tesla's tireless efforts. But what was the Tesla's legacy and the future of wireless power? Though unable to fully realize his grandest visions, Nikola Tesla helped catalyze major advancements that would shape the path of technology in the 20th century and beyond. The ideas dreamed up in his mind found more fruitful applications through other innovators. Tesla's induction motors and polyphase AC power system directly contributed to modern electric utilities. His early wireless lighting experiments paved the way for development of radio technology. Tesla's work also helped spur later breakthroughs like vacuum tubes and transistors, helping enable telecommunications, television, computers, and the Internet today. While long-range wireless power transmission on a global scale has remained elusive, Tesla's 19th-century imagination has inspired later breakthroughs in more limited wireless charging. Methods like inductive charging pads use magnetic fields within short distances, based on the concepts Tesla first explored. Some companies today even use the phrase, wireless power, in branding, showing Tesla's vision permeating culture. Many futurists now look ahead to a new energy era where distributed renewable sources and wireless networks supersede fossil fuels. In these visions, Tesla's ideas finally bear fruit, with technology achieving his dream of ubiquitous free energy from the environment. His life's work helps energize aspirations for clean, decentralized modern power systems. Ultimately, Tesla's legacy transcends any single invention and is more about the power of imagination. He exemplified engineering idealized to benefit all people, not just companies' bottom lines. Tesla pushed boundaries with an unyielding faith that technology could build a better world. Our entire electrified civilization owes him a monumental debt. Though he died nearly penniless in 1943, Nikola Tesla's soaring vision continues inspiring humanity ever skyward. Let's sum up the whole discussion. Nikola Tesla dedicated his life to achieving an inspiring dream, the global wireless transmission of limitless free energy. His ambitious visions clashed with the technological and economic realities of his time. While the world was not yet ready, Tesla tirelessly developed the ideas, plans, and inventions that helped catalyze the path toward modern wireless technology. Tesla's work embodied engineering idealism and pioneering spirit at their finest. He believed technology should advance humanity, not just corporate interests. The impossible dreams brewed in his brilliant imagination still find expression today in visions of an electrified world where renewable energy is available to all. Tesla's legacy lives on both in the AC power illuminating our homes and in the hope that clean, universal energy access can empower the future. His story reminds us that humankind's greatest feats often begin as mere ideas in one person's mind. If we share Tesla's faith in science harnessed for good, perhaps one day his wireless world may still come to pass. The boundless potential of the human spirit persists, as indestructible as the energy Tesla spent his life trying to unleash.